Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I want to show you this account was restricted. And as you can see here, it, the advertising access has been reinstated. As you can see, your advertising access is reinstated. Um, the request was reviewed and the decision is that the business manager and the other account that were disabled have been reinstated. Now, um, for your information, let me just show you how it was. As you can see, identity confirmation required. We noticed suspicious activity on your account and before you can request a review we need to confirm this was exactly the problem and as i appealed within um three hours the account has been reinstated all these these are part of the restrictions as you can see the account was restricted and these are all part of the restrictions so i'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to get your account reinstated if you have this kind of problem in this video I will show you how to resolve the problem of other account disabled. This other account and some of its advertising access assets are disabled. You can't use it to run ads. Or your business manager account is disabled and you are restricted from advertising. In fact, this one is a business manager restriction. And by default, the other account, because as you may know, if your business manager is restricted by default, the other account that is that are inside that business manager account are also restricted. This is not a user account restriction. This is an other account. So it means that we can resolve. Uh, if if we resolve this other account, this business manager, the other account will be automatically reinstated. If we're not able to resolve this business manager restriction, then we may have to use a different business manager. But this user account can still advertise only that. This business manager account cannot advertise unless it is reinstated. So it means that if I have two or three business manager accounts, I can advertise with any of them. But this particular business manager and its ad account cannot be used to run advert. Now, you may be um, uh, if 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 you are trying to advertise and you are encountering a problem like this, and after you run the advert. Or after uh, you try to uh, appeal to re to get reinstated, whether you are able to do it or you are not able to do it, you can leave your comments in the comment section, or you can contact us. There is a WhatsApp link in the description where you can click and WhatsApp us directly, and we can help you out. We are specialists in that field, and we have a team who we can contact. We help you. We can do a Zoom meeting, look at your problem in detail, and help you get your your business manager. Uh, reinstated um we have done this for several other people and you can take time and look at the the testimonies from those that we have been able to book zoom meetings and help them and after you look at it you can continue to follow the process to reinstate your account Okay, so as you can see from the testimonies from people that we have helped, we can also do the same for you. After going through this, if you are not able to get reinstated, we can help you reinstate your your other account or business manager account or user account. Okay, okay so let's continue. So when you have something like this, for those that don't know how to get to account uh, other ad manager, you log into your Facebook. After you log in. Um, you can see when you are inside your Facebook home, when you log into Facebook, you, you can you can see um, some these things on the left hand side. You click on see all, and then you will see um, ad manager. I'm doing this because it's not everyone that is using Facebook on the computer. Some are using it on the phone, so they may not know how to really go to the ad manager. So you click on ad manager, it will bring you here. Now, from here, you can click on see details, or you can, sometimes you may see three lines here. When you click on the three lines and click on account quality, it will send you to the same place. Place. So when you click on see details, it will bring you here. So you'll be in account quality. So under account quality, you can click on view all my accounts, view my account. Then you will see that all your, for all your accounts, there is a restriction among one of them, the business manager account. So when you click on business account, you see that there is suspicious activity and we need to confirm our, um we need to confirm 
our identity before we can request a review. Now, before you confirm the identity, let me let you know this because if you don't do this, the identity confirmation will fail. One, you need your name must match with your ID, what is on your ID card. Two, your birth date must match with what's on your ID card. So for your name, you come to your user account section and then you make sure that the name that is the user name is matching with the one on your ID. And the type of ID you can use a voter ID, national identity card, uh, driving license, and then um, passport. So you come and click on the profile picture on the right hand corner, go to settings and privacy, from there go to settings, and from there we go to personal details. You see personal details. When you go to the personal details, you see your name there. And from there you can um you can change your name. You see um name under personal details, you see contact info. Um no, we want the name, so we'll go to the profile. Good. So good. So we see you see the name. So you can change your name. The first and last name are the most important. They must match with what is on your ID card. You do that. So after you do that, um, you change also change your birth date. So come back to your home, then you click on your name. Then go down to the above section. You see contact and basic info. So you will see your birth date. So make sure that the day, the month, and the year with your gender is correct as is indicated on your ID card. Please, they are doing this to make sure that fraudulent activities are avoided. So you make sure that your account is following um, the Facebook community standards. So after you do all that, you also come to your your page you make sure that on your page if you were advertising anything that doesn't fall that that doesn't uh, uh, fall within facebook advertising policies you delete everything if you were advertising anything that doesn't fall within the policy it doesn't comply with the policies, the advertising policies of Facebook. We delete everything. And I will leave the, the, the link to Facebook community standards and then advertising policies for you to follow to make sure that you are following the laws. If you are not following the laws, that one, there will be no mercy for you. They will, they will disable your account permanently. So make sure you are following the policies. So after that, you come back to account quality. Then you confirm your identity. Upload the image. Make sure the picture is clear and it's showing all the edges. And after you do that, um, also check the birth date properly. You just confirm that everything is fine. Okay. So now you submit it. When you submit this ID, they will review this information within five to 10 minutes and then confirm your identity. When they confirm your identity, you can continue to request a review. So um, we are waiting for about five minutes time to see if the identity confirmation is done. So if the identity is confirmed, you won't see this, this message again. We notice suspicious activity. You will not see that message again. So we are waiting for the identity confirmation to be done so we can continue. So as you can see, um, within five minutes, the the identity has been confirmed so as you can see what was here and they were saying we noticed suspicious activity it is no longer there so you see the request review button was blur it was not deep blue like this we couldn't click it wasn't clickable but it can now be clicked because the identity has been confirmed so when i click on request review you can see they are asking for the reason why we are requesting the review and i'll click on another reason and I'll post my reason. My reason, what I'm telling them is that my business manager has been restricted and I am told this business doesn't comply with one or more of their advertising policies, such as having too many ads re restricted, attempted to circumvent their ad review process or participating in a fraudulent behavior or associating with untrustworthy account. And I know that I have not violated any of these policies. In fact, my business manager 
Um, I try my best as much as possible to follow their policies. I have no intention of violating any policy of theirs. And I know this will definitely be a mistake. So they should please wait and state this account for me. So after that, you hit submit or send. And then they are going to receive it. They will review it and get back within 48 hours. Yeah. So as you can see, your 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 review request that will we'll notify you of our decision within 48 hours. So it is now left with the final step, which they will notify us if they are done. So if you follow this process, your account will be reinstated. If you did not actually violate any policy, it will be reinstated. Sometimes it happens by mistake. And if you follow the right process, you'll be able to request and your account will be reinstated. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos like this. Once again, bye-bye.